You know, the original uh, uh, collaborative care study was the IMPACT trial, and that was a study of depression in older Americans. And it was a really, it's really where we got our start with understanding the model, um, the evidence base, and how that can work. I'm really excited about the, um, the new collaborative care codes because when a new code comes out, Medicare is automatically covered. So the population in terms of this, of this evidence-based model and who has coverage and who doesn't was the Medicare population, the older population that actually has the insurance coverage for getting uh, collaborative care. So being able to treat depression, anxiety, substance use conditions in the elderly population is extremely important. We have to work with the primary care practices to screen their population, um, screen every patient that comes in for depression and anxiety. It's additional workload for the nurses and the staff. But at the same time, if we don't do that screening, sometimes we actually miss these disorders in the elderly population. We may write it off as a, a sign of aging, that they're not as functional or not getting out as much, when in fact people are actually depressed. So being really attuned to uh, screening and being able to discover those mental health conditions and then using a robust model. And again, the collaborative care models was tested originally in an elderly population and did a, it did a, a extremely well.